All right, first up this morning, I've got to admit, I thought about calling in sick today <laughs> because we have a studio that is full of snakes. And truth be told, I don't like snakes. I like other reptiles. I don't like snakes. <laughs> they scare me a lot. Yeah, okay, so our next guest contacted mm -hmm. me after she saw Tiffany and Mia on the show <laughs> with a, a very small snake a few weeks ago and noted that we both seemed a wee bit uncomfortable. She said she can help with that. She has this group. Uh, it is called RETC, which stands for Reptile Education uh, Contact. Oh, so please welcome Cheryl Sterenberg, and this is Justin Kubek. He's a volunteer. And that one's me. Okay, <laughs> what, what's up with the guy with the snake that's like the boa weighs as much as Tiff? Yeah, that boa constrictor what is clearly a hundred pounds, what's just like up me. With, what kind of snake? Oddly is Oddly enough, not a boa. It's actually a Burmese python. Well, oh, um, well. Well, most people, it's okay, because most people hear boas, um, and that's kind of a generic word for big, big snake. Yeah. But my grandson here is holding a Kenyan sand boa. That's your oh. grandson? Yes. Aww. So he is holding a snake that is Hold it a up a little higher so we can see it there, buddy. You there you go. Hold it up. Yep. Is it okay if I ask you, I know you don't have a microphone on, you can just say yes or no. Do you think it's cool that your grandma is so comfortable with snakes and knows so much about snakes? Yeah, yeah, I bet. <laughs> How come his snake doesn't have the normal shaped head? Well, these snakes burrow. Oh, okay. So the, the head is shaped. Can you kind of see how it is and maybe show his head? There you go. There you go. Good. See, it's just nice sort of like job. a. Wow, you're a TV All pro, right, buddy. Can we get back to the guy who has a really big yellow snake? <laughs> <laughs> Will he We're choke you? What, okay, so you're not afraid, right? You don't have a mic on either, I know, but what's up with his snake? Look at this. Uh, I wish you could oh see the gosh. snake curling around it's like his curling leg right now. his leg at the bottom. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, so what, how would that snake, could that snake hurt someone? Your dog could hurt you. Your cat could hurt you. Given the situation, yes, a snake can hurt you. Okay. Um, Does that snake we, bite or? They well, it has bite. a mouth. It yeah. has a mouth. So, <laughs> usually no, things with I mean, mouth, can, mouth food, can bite. He bites his food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I mean, all of the snakes that we use in the demonstrations have gone through uh, levels of testing to make sure that they tolerate what we do with them extremely well. Okay. If at one point a snake says, mm -hmm. I'm not happy with this, then they go back to square one and start over again. Okay. Uh, you you gotta, know they're happy. They're happy. We don't say they're happy. They oh. tolerate. Oh, they're, oh, not okay. unha they're not unhappy, if you want to call it that. Mm -hmm. Um, snakes do have body language, uh, depending on the type of the snake. You know, if they're trying to get away all the time, then they're not happy because they're, they're scared. So your snake, who's just curling up over around your shoulder, <laughs> is happy. Yes. Is acclimating well. Yes. And, you know, what's interesting, I thought, is that, you know, you, you, because you take such care with, with the reptiles, you came in to acclimate them to this space because mm -hmm. you truly want to make sure when you do these school demonstrations or ecology group demonstrations that you're bringing in um, and b being safe with the animals as well, that they acclimate well to the space because you didn't know how they would be under the lights. Exactly. exactly. It's, it's more for the snakes more than it is for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think they're so under misunderstood? Why do you think we have this? And so many of us, I feel, is this almost like innate like jitteriness uh, around snakes. I don't think they're slimy, they look slimy. You know what I mean? I, I don't think that they're gonna hurt me, but I just, like, I feel so well, nervous. They are alien, obviously they don't have any legs. They move a lot differently than any other animal that we're used to being around. Mm -hmm. And you do have the movies, yeah. you know, Anaconda and Snakes on the Plane, <laughs> and, and, and sadly other medias that do give them a bad reputation. Uh -huh. um, they don't research before they put on an article or something mm -hmm. like that. So you, you go to school groups, mm -hmm. go to ecology centers, mm -hmm. you share what you know, you, you bring them because your hope is that by interacting with them, maybe even touching them, people, it'll sort of demystify snakes. Exactly, and we don't, there's a lot, there's other groups out there that teach, like give classes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay? Our, our goal is to get people comfortable around petting them holding them so that they'll go on to learn mm -hmm. more about them. You know, we're kind of like the, the, the bottom of the totem pole, if you want to call it. And you are kind of petting your snake. Do mm -hmm. they like that? She tolerates it. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, I like that. Know, I mean, we, don't, we don't like to humanize the snakes. They are wild animals. Yeah. We don't like to humanize them. Um, I did have a snake, however, that when I would open up his lid, he would come out of his hide, put his head on top of the enclosure, and he would sit there until I rubbed the bottom of his chin, and then he'd go back down again. Really? So That's I have to say, yes, he liked it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. right. What does, tell, tell me just quickly what the, all these snakes mm -hmm. eat. Well, all of these snakes eat uh, what we call frozen thawed feeders, mm -hmm. so that they were humanely uh, euthanized mm -hmm. and uh, and frozen, and then we thaw them up, uh, thaw them out, and get them really warm. Mm -hmm. So it'd be um, like and mice or rats. Mice, rats, mm -hmm. the bigger animals take big, bigger feeders. This particular snake eats rabbits. Mm -hmm. I love rabbits. And though. people love <laughs> rabbits, but you know what? Other wild animals eat rabbits too. So yes, they know, do. The, the 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 cute foxes and stuff they eat rabbits too. So they do. Yes. Oh, yeah. And dogs. dogs. And dogs. dogs they eat, eat dogs, too. Well, dogs eat rabbits. Dogs yeah. eat rabbits. Oh. Circle of life. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, what kind of snake is she holding with the, what's your name? Courtney. Courtney, what kind of snake is she holding that's so multicolored like that? That is uh, the Puebla. She's a Pueblan milk snake. Okay. Okay. And we have another milk snake here. Yeah, that um, one's just hanging out. <laughs> and yeah. I'm not going to open up with you. That right one's there. stone cold Thank chilling. You. Um, yeah. I mean, that's another type of milk snake. It's kind of like <laughs> humans. Uh, snakes come in different colors, shapes, Tip and sizes. Just, there we go. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. um, okay. Oh, our producer just told us we're way over, but I just oh, feel like okay. I have so many questions and so many things. So I want to make sure well, everybody's first back. got the information <laughs> yes, for you guys. You I Absolutely. noticed that the snake she's holding just kind of touched her around the mouth. That didn't freak you out at all, no. did it? That's so wild. I mean, now, would you guys grandson. like to, would Being you like true to, to touch? Name? Yes, Molly I does. Would. I'm going to give the information here for free great. demonstrations to local schools and ecology centers. I you can had. email <laughs> at retc is fun at gmail.com. The phone number on your screen as well is 414 522 7382, where you can truly do all these public demonstrations and demystify. And the I would snake. also like to Look. mention that we also are doing a lot of shows for the Milwaukee Library System. Yeah. So you could check out your local library for any show that's going to be at your local library. Okay. Fantastic. And there's no charge for them. You guys are that's great. It's so great that you do that at no charge as a way to educate people and share what you know. Wonderful to see all of you. Thank you so much for being well, here. Thank you well, for having us. Thank thank you. Come back <laughs> I feel like a oh lot gosh, of snakes that are snake left on her face. <laughs> a lot of snakes are less face. nerve wracking than one snake for some reason. Check that out. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Oh wow. All right. Okay. Well, we